Okay. I'm about every time Yelena comes in, I'm like, who is Marco? Yeah, I get it confused every time. For sure, for sure, for sure. Answering to the person that's writing me. I'm not crazy. <laughs> every time Yelena comes in, I'm like, who is Marco? I don't know why this happens. <laughs> I have to try to fix it. It's my brother. <laughs> Sorry. I know, I know, I know. I'm just like, every time I'm thrown off. You actually heard, Yelena, you just heard the me say that and there's a delay on the YouTube version, so. Yeah. <laughs> I love how she answered. I was like, wait, what? I didn't say that. Oh, I did just say that. Okay, so we're giving the YouTube link to Mar. She's going to put it everywhere. And we are good to go. Uh, Board. Okay, cool. Uh, welcome everybody. Happy to have you here. I'm just going to uh, pin everyone that is going to be staff-ish. Hold on a second. Hi Barrett. I think I can do, oh wait, multi-pin. Give me this pin. Give me the pin. Pin me. Yes, there we go. Consti, yep, you too. All right. Who else? Who else is in here? Where's Cuckoo? Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Okay. And Mar's right here, so we're good. Can we see Mar? Because we don't see me. I, I don't see us. So yeah, I'm here. Let's let's get you there. All right, guys, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. We'll try and make it really quick. Uh, Anya is going to try and join us. But the first little part, I'm just going to say a few things, show you on my screen how to do one of the things, and then go from there. If you have not already talked to your teams about flights, no. If you're our players, you're all our players. You can always say to the team, when am I scheduled to fly home? And if you haven't bought the flight yet, I might want to actually delay that. And you can talk to Ryan about it because we'll probably just get the money for your flight instead. And then you could get a flight from here if you wanted, from Zagreb, you could buy your own flight, something like that. We can be flexible with that. And anybody who's not with this agency who sees this, ask your teams, they will be flexible with you. Usually, I usually say, what does it cost on the day that you're planning to fly me home? Just give me that in cash and then I'll handle my own flight. Okay, um, the second thing is, I wanna show you really quick how to, we already did this somewhere else, but this might be weird because we're gonna look at ourselves for a second. There we go. So if you're gonna put on a flight tracker, okay, let's just say we're gonna do CDG and uh, I don't know. Oh, wait. So we put in one, you can click it one more time, press the plus CD, or I already put that right, TLS. Let's just try that. I'll put that in. I'll switch this. I will go oh, to, let's say, there. I need to move this over. So let's say I push something like that. And then for me, if I were you guys, I'd be like, I wanna go for a while, do whatever you want. I'll talk a little bit about that. At the bottom, you can change the currency down here. Put it in Euro or whatever, makes your brain tick. Yeah, everything's recording. It's recording live to YouTube too. Are the checklists? You got this. Okay. <laughs> Track prices, boom, okay. Um, and then what you can do is uh, when you want to see this again, you click over here and you can go in and you can find your track prices, okay? Um, that is the end of that. So do that, put those on and make sure you're looking at them. Just know that like in the next week or so, that's all going to go up. Let me find Anya and then pin her. Okay, so I would try to arrive at least like two days before. Hey, 
and uh, and then um, <laughs> leaving whenever you want. There's going to be the housing. We're talking with them. We have a full list, tons of housing. We're gonna figure out either like ones where everybody can stay together or stay alone. I'm gonna give a form. Coaches and staff have already filled this out. Players, you're gonna fill out something. It's after you've already been accepted too. You guys are all already going to be coming. We know that. So you'll get another form and it'll say some preferences like driver's license, if you'd like to share a room or just a flat. So you have your own private room or if you just want your own, that kind of stuff. So that will all come in there. And then we would start on the first, but we're gonna start with just uh, opening kind of thing, uh, talking for about an hour about like what we're gonna do. I'll have some of the people like Mia, myself, Martine, others that are gonna be really like the coaches will just talk about their expectations and the accountability that we're gonna hold everybody to. And then we will just do some, um, some physical tests. We'll, fist, we'll, we'll warm you up with the strength and conditioning coaches that are here. And then you will literally test that, okay? Um, and then what we'll have is like a little fun night. We'll just do something. And then the rest of the combine, just so you get it, uh, I want you guys to understand kind of how it's set up. The first couple of days is gonna be a lot of assessment. So it's gonna be like putting you through the basic foundational things saying like, okay, how does this look for everyone? So kind of testing that out, plus playing some two on two, some three on three, some four on four, and some six on six to really assess everybody. Everyone who's pinned right here that is actually at the event, or even people that might watch the live streams that are private, that are, aren't going to be going to teams during like training sessions, where we don't want to show that, but we want some coaches to give some input on players that we know, then we're going to have that. Everybody will get evaluated the entire time. So you get an assessment in the beginning on your basic foundational skills. Then you'll get an assessment on how well you're actually playing the sport. This will go for everybody, all the experienced player, all the young players that are coming. Uh, one of the coaches, Timo, is bringing, hopefully, uh, Tabea, I think her name is. It's a like universal player. She's a 17 years old. There will be players like that who are very interesting here. They will just be fit in and be treated just like everybody else, okay? All right, so um, the next thing, those next, after those first two to two and a half days of all of the jump measurements, the assessments, the foundations, we really start teaching the foundations as in like the USA type methods that I learned. I like to teach that. Mia and I will definitely be working with athletes a lot on that, but we just kind of give, want to give like a cookie cutter, whatever. Then coaches like Consti, who you'll introduce yourself, Timo, and hopefully one or two more, they will be there to organize how the tactical, the technical, the six on six, all of these type of trainings will go and or to actually coach uh, the teams that will play the matches. I'm hoping that we'll have enough for like three teams of like eight people but that's really, really optimistic. It's gonna take you ladies also and coaches and staff. If you know interesting players, they can come. We want them to come. We invite them for sure. Maybe three's not gonna happen. Um, days like three through five are gonna be really tactic heavy, really like tactical uh, technique, all that stuff. During these first five days, we will have gone through a 101 course and hopefully like a 201 course for all of the people like Barrett, right? Like anybody who is teaching them about mental, emotional, uh, financial, we have somebody coming, nutrition. I hope, I'm hoping this person can actually come and cook live with us in an apartment and we can do some stuff like that. After those first five days, then a lot of the stuff will be, will open it up to some one-on-one -on -one stuff where people who want it to work, like, I really want to work on my jump serve like this. And you will get individual times and things like that because it'll be really court heavy in the beginning, but not exhausting, but just a lot of work. And yeah, we will try to do something like a minimum of three, but hopefully five actual like matches where it's probably going to be like best of four but every single set the players are different and that's why we also want to do it so that there's like if we have enough players we'll either do two 
or three teams and then everybody will be able to play like it's not going to be something where like people are sitting on the bench they never get in no everybody's going to play we will have a tiered system though where by the like as we go along we'll try to get the players into the right bracket so the best players will be with the best players but they have proven themselves so i don't care if it's a 16 year old if she does amazing which there's one here in croatia if she comes she might be better than some of you outside. So I'm just warning you right now. So um, that's what you want to expect here. It's going to be competitive. It's going to be a national team environment. Consti, the coaches will help with this. Mia and I for sure will be in your face about stuff if we need to be. We want to treat you the same way we would if you were our teammate, with respect, but hold you to a super high level because we don't want to lose. I will be playing in this a lot of it. I don't know how much Mia will play in. She's going to maybe play in some of it. But I'm like, I'm coming to kick ass. I'm just warning you right now. I won't play in the six-on-six six stuff. But when we train, I'm going to train with you, ladies, because it's the same thing we did at Team USA. So I just want to open it up really quick for some questions from the athletes. Um, and then after that, I'm going to have all of you introduce yourselves and talk about why you want to come to this and why you believe athletes should understand that right now during especially COVID, this is a really hard time to make this decision. I'm really, really, really happy. Kayla just committed because we lost the setter. Now we got a setter back. So I'm like really excited about that. I think that's huge. Um, so players, any questions, you can type them or you can unmute yourself and ask. Are any hands up? Let me see. No hands are up. Okay, since there's no questions, we're just gonna go, who wants to go first from here? Anya, Mia, Barrett, Consti. Sure, Anya, why not? Okay, go. <laughs> so you're just gonna introduce yourself and say why you're a part of these combines. She also, by the way, I just wanna say has been part of like every single combine I did. And she's so selfless. She is the original, the OG selfless, like, person that I met in this area of the world and it's incredible and then I got so lucky because now I have Mia it's like it's gonna go crazy so we're so we're very grateful to have everybody but especially you two very accomplished athletes go ahead Anya okay first of all uh my name is uh, Anya Spasovic uh, I will do with uh, my uh, maiden's name even though right now officially my name is Anya Pesic but uh, as a volleyball player, I was known as Anya Spasovic, and uh, I was an outside hitter for... No. This is my oldest son trying to get attention. Kaže ciao, Vuki. Hello. Hello. You got hello. And uh, so I have been... Uh, so I have been uh, in uh, the national team of Serbia when we won the let's say, historic uh, bronze medal on the world championship on 2006. Afterwards, I quit the national team, but I have continued playing in uh, Italy, Russia, Turkey, uh, Switzerland, France, uh, and basically the half of the world. So uh, I have been a part, as Ryan says, uh, I have been a part of the, the combine that were held here in, uh, in Belgrade. And uh, actually, I really believe that this is an extremely... Uh, how to say it's uh, it's an extremely a good chance to get to know yourself and others more and to work on things on which maybe in uh, pro teams you will not have the time because pro teams are usually all about uh, uh, the result so they don't care if you have uh, maybe a fault that should be or something that you should do better they just work for the result, you know? So this is like a perfect timing, you know, to work on uh, everything that, uh, that you will be, you will be able to work. And for sure being in split, I'm really extremely jealous that we are not able to be there. So I think you guys are going to have a great time. And if I can help at least like this via, uh, via internet or anything no. like that, feel free. You can have my contact from Ryan and uh, you can ask or um, or anything that I can do maybe to help you guys, I'm here. Not, not a problem whatsoever. And excuse me, but I need to say also, that's me, I'm sorry, I didn't see you for 100 years. 
Znaš kako mi fališ? Je majke, da ću pogledati da se nismo videli, brati. Okay. Uh, I just want to say in English so everyone knows that you're always, just a second, Alja, you're always, always welcome in Split, you know? You're always welcome. <laughs> Now you have two homes you can come to and split, by the way. It's kind of difficult, kind of difficult, but hopefully, hopefully this, this pest will finish anytime soon and we'll be able to, to meet also. Yes, the pandemic. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So Ryan, that's 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 it for me because these are so because these guys are already asking. Thank so you. really, if you guys need anything from me or I can help in any way by uh, an advice, uh, talking, we really feel free to, to let me know, and I can help. I will help in any way I can. Okay. Lots of love. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye 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 Thanks. guys. See you and have a nice combine. Bye. Bye-bye. Ciao, vi dimo se. Ciao. Whoever wants to go after Mia, just raise their hand so they just start right after she finishes. Oh, I'm, I'm doing it? Okay. Uh, hi guys, my name is uh, Mia Jerko. I'm an outside hitter, Croatian outside hitter. For many years, uh, I, played, I played pro in, in Turkey, in South Korea, in Japan, LA, Russia, uh, United States. I was lucky enough. Um, what to say? Uh, I will be one of your uh, mentors, one of, one, of, one of the hosts of uh, this combine and um, I feel uh, anxious also really happy that you guys will be coming to Croatia. I know it's not the best time for all of us, for all the world, it's pandemic and I just wanted to, how to say, like I was thinking a lot like how, uh, how it is for just a regular professional player during the season, you're basically in total lockdown with uh, someone has total control over you. You're confined to what? Your apartment. You don't have much space. You don't have much time. You don't have much freedom to do anything besides volleyball. But I just wanted to like give my input how it is in Croatia now. And I feel like we, if, if we collaborate successfully, which I, which I really believe we will, uh, I really think that We can make it like it's a good, really like a working part that we work really hard, that you get every maximum out of it, like 100%, that we help each and every one of you tactically, technically, that you become better players, but also better people working with us. And in some downtime, that, we, you, we act, that you actually have time to uh, like, relax and uh, chill out and see Croatia and have a little time for yourself. And usually the time is really nice in that, uh, in that period of the year. So like you can also treat it as a part vacation. I think we'll be really, really more like, we'll try to be maximal, uh, like uh, really flexible about that. And I think it's really important like on that mental part that you actually uh, do this for yourself. Right, so wh whoever wants to come, don't, don't just treat it as a job opportunity, treat it also as an opportunity to, to have a little time for yourself, to meet new people, like vacation, that we will try to make it as enjoyable as it can, it can be, right? Please, Betty. Mm, first, I need Hi everybody, good to see you. <laughs> um, yeah, I have to be honest, I think everybody knows me, right? My name is Berit Kaufeld, I'm a sports psychologist and a yoga teacher and I've been playing professional volleyball for 11 years and nine years in the national team. Um, so I have to be honest that until now I haven't been so decisive about like coming or not, but when I see everybody and I'm like, okay, this is cool. and Especially I get excited because I see players um, that I work with that I only see on my screen, like 
in in my apartment here and i'm i'm really excited to meet you and also to meet like the rest of you and see okay how is it who are you like often i do i do see you i do see you maybe all <laughs> even like playing um but to see you in real real life could be could be really exciting and then also you know i have that kind of 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 vision of like having a whole athlete like not having to put aside any part of you and i think that happens like so often and having the possibility to speak about that to teach about that and to combine like psychology and yoga and this kind of environment i mean like i want to start tomorrow <laughs> um and that's it thank you Kuku, I want you to look in your text because I sent you a message. Uh, Konsti, can you go? Yes, hello. Um, yeah, as you heard, you can call me Konsti, <laughs> like everybody in the world. Um, don't need to say Konstantin. Um, I was working now six years in Germany as assistant coach um, in the in Bundesliga. Uh, last two years of it in Dresden. Um, Medi, I think we're going to see each other on Wednesday um for, for the playoffs so looking forward for that um well i got to know ryan some years ago and i have a lot of respect for his work for players um because it's about about you and why i beca became volleyball coach was because i wanted to work with people and help people to develop and it was in the beginning not about just like uh, money or results or anything else and when I see that we work the whole year just in teams to say, okay, we need to win this, we need to be there, we, you're not good enough for this, we need to leave there or whatever. It's just so much pressure where you forget about what is about you as a player. And this combine is something really nice to give back, to work with you guys, to just focus on you um, and help you guys, but also learn from you for, for me personally and to grow um, in this possibility and that's that's why I think it's a great thing and I would like to join it of course it depends on our situation how far we go in the championship and uh, how my club is going to to give me the time to, to, to be there but uh, I'm positive about it and on the second side COVID I think it's also very nice to have some opportunities to just um, have a perspective to work on something and to not just be all the time in this in this one bubble and go home and not have anything else where you where you have the feeling to okay what I'm doing now and this is a good thing uh, so looking forward to it looking forward to see you all of you hopefully and um, yeah that's from me don't worry Konsi I'll talk to uh, Sandra we're buddies I got you <laughs> I'll fight for you with the team manager Okay, good, good. Hi guys, um, I am Kuka Wang um, from China. I just feel like I'm so far from volleyball now because I after like in 2014, I uh, finished my volleyball career and I just start to backpacking and doing a lot of uh, weightlifting, fitness stuff, but really like uh, not, not um, really in touch with the volleyball anymore. But until recently, I felt like um, volleyball is what I have been doing for like more than 10 years. And, and it's something that, that like a strength that I have and why should I quit it? <laughs> um, so, and luckily I just like uh, got the chance to um, uh, my friend, my friend um, Lo, Lorena uh, introduced me to uh, Martin and then Martin is, uh, introduced me to Ryan. So I just want to give uh, big thanks to those people and uh, for offering me this opportunity and especially Ryan for uh, like uh, giving encouragement and tons of help. Uh, so also I, I am uh, really excited for this opportunity to um, hopefully I can get a visa and to meet up with you guys in this combine. And um, 
so while I while I try to um, try to like uh, um, do from there is I wanted to learn um, to just get back to the volleyball field and to uh, get back to volleyball atmosphere and also to learn how to run those things and then in the future I really hope that uh, I could open up uh, on the Chinese market uh, to uh, collaborate with um, Ryan um, and then hopefully like in the future I can bring there's like a, I would say a lot of opportunities from China that we have province teams, club teams, and uh, high school and university teams. So um, yeah, just after COVID, I hope I can get back home and uh, really talk about this, sit down and uh, talk to uh, talk about this to to my coach, and then hopefully the, all the uh, the good stuff goes from there. And then yeah, I'm really looking for. Uh, to just come by. That's it. <laughs> All right. So I just want to say a little bit about that. Uh, we are amazed by her already, how, how on it she was. We're going to start a partnership to do, yes, some team tours. I know Mia got really excited when I was like, hey, we could be bringing high school teams here from China doing all this stuff. We could be bringing them to Germany, Konsti. We could do all of these different things. And I just want you ladies to understand that you're part of something right now that's really big. And some of you have been to this combine before, so you have some idea, but I want you to know it's constantly evolving. If you know me, you know I'm all about just like keep pushing, keep going, don't stop. So um, the other thing is that I'm really excited. She's already helped a couple of players get in, into the top league in China. And so that means it's open doors for not only our players, but any players that are coming to this, these combines that's something that can be open for you too, because she will be partnered with us, but she might sign a player just for China for that. Well, you guys can't sign because you're signed exclusively with us, but that <laughs> automatically gives you her. So anyways, thank you so much. Um, does anybody have any questions before we go? Anyone at all? Just make sure you unmute yourself before you, you say it. No, yes, no. You have any last remarks? No, just really excited to see all of you there. I'll be flying back for it. And uh, if you guys haven't been to Split yet, it is awesome. So I highly, highly suggest it's a great way to take, you know, if you get here a few days early, take those days and like, seriously, the water is clear. It's the craziest thing you've ever seen. So I highly, highly suggest it. Suggest it. <laughs> Yeah, and if anybody wants to know anything more, you can reach out and DM to us, anything like that, all right? Thank you so much, everybody, for your time. We're going live, by the way, on IG right now with Mia to talk a little bit more about what we're going to be doing with the kids here and everything, but yeah. Thank you. If you have questions, I know there's going to be questions. Somebody's going to... Leah, you were like, I got so many questions, and then you said nothing. Did I answer all of them? No. Most of the questions that I had were, like, basic questions, but you guys answered them, so I... Honestly, I don't really have any more. Okay. Well, I'm <laughs> just glad I called out somebody who heard another voice in this. All right, you guys, have a great day. We'll see you soon. Make sure that you've registered and share this. Please, If you, I'm giving you guys the, the, the social media. If you can post, put hashtag Elite Volley Combine and at Elite Volley on your stories and just let people know, like, if you're interested, apply. The bigger we can make this, the better we can make it for everybody. So I'm really excited right now. Oh, I should just, I should say this. There are like 15 or so clubs saying that they're actually going to try to be here. Okay. Pro clubs right now. And we're talking like Italy, France, Switzerland, Germany, Turkey. Well, in China, we're, we're working through cuckoo now. So anyways, and then for schools, for young kids that might be watching this, there's going to be a ton and when I say a ton, a ton of schools in America watching. And so something probably over 50 watching the live stream. So if you get to be a part of this event and you're trying to go to a USA school, they're going to be watching. Bye, everybody.